Hi, I'm Lari, and welcome to your Tabata cardio workout. What you're gonna need today is your beautiful self. I highly recommend a mat because we will be coming to our hands, and that's just gonna provide a little bit more cushion. Definitely have something handy that you can hydrate with. It's gonna be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for about 30 minutes. So if you need to take a longer break, hit pause, take a drink, take a few deep breaths, and then get right back into it. All right, y'all, grab all your stuff and let's get going. All right, we're about to get into your four minute warm up. We'll do each exercise twice before moving on to more challenging movements. Your first exercise is going to be a jumping jack. So we're landing soft, jumping it out and in. Your option here is to just step it out one leg at a time. Jumping jacks, 20 seconds in three, two, one. So while we do these cardio bursts today, be sure that you're breathing. So let's focus on that deep, expansive inhale throughout the rib cage. Exhale, draw that deep belly button up and in. We have five more seconds. Last five, four, three, two, one. 10 seconds to recover, then we go for round two. Big, deep inhale, here we go, 20 seconds on. Last time doing jumping jacks today. Inhale, exhale, good. Last five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Your next exercise is gonna be jump ropes. So we're just landing nice and soft, finding about an inch under the toes. Option here, just bring it one foot at a time. 20 seconds on, let's go. Nice work, land soft. Make sure you're not pounding into that pavement. Brace that core, deep belly button up and in towards that spine. This is just your warm up. Come on, five more seconds. Four, three, two, and recover. We have that one more time. Take that big deep inhale. Exhale, here we go. 20 seconds on in three, two, one. Jump ropes, last set. How you doing today? You doing good? Me too. I'm cooped up in the house, that's okay. We're moving and we're grooving. Come on, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Next exercise, we have butt kicks. Dorsiflexing at the ankle, driving the heel and towards the glute. Option, take out the jump and just sidestep it side to side. Butt kicks, 20 seconds on. Land soft. Try to keep your knee directly under your hip, neutral spine. If this is too much, just sidestep it side to side. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, recover. 10 seconds to recover, then we have that one more time. Big deep inhale, exhale we go. In three, two, one, butt kicks, 20 seconds, last round. Try to keep your hips level. None of this. Upright spine. 10 seconds, halfway through. Five, four, three, two, one. Last exercise for the warm up will be high knees. You can either step, step it up like so, or add the jump. Keep a neutral spine. We go in three, two, one. You can always slow down the pace and we can either just do this, sidestepping or adding that little jump. What do you want to do today? You get to decide. Last five seconds, four, three, two, one, recover. We have that one more time and then we're done with your warm up. Big deep inhale, exhale we go in three, two, one, high knees, 20 seconds. Ten seconds, you got it. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. That concludes your warm up. Now we're going to do each exercise for four minutes, eight rounds. Twenty seconds on, ten seconds off. Your first exercise will be an inchworm. So we're coming to the back of your mat, bending the knees so much so that you can plant the palms. We walk it out to a high plank. 
Shoulders are over the wrist, deep belly button draws up and in, reaching the head forward, reaching the heels behind, and then we walk it on in. You get to do this at your own pace, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and then you will get to decide what you want to do for your recovery. Either take it to a down dog, release the knees down, or you can even hold a high plank if you want. So let's go ahead, bring it to the back of your mat. High plank, walk it in at your own pace, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We go in three, two, one, first 20 seconds, control it. Quality over quantity. We have a lot of rounds coming your way and it's gonna get harder each and every round. 10 seconds down. One more rep. All right, you get to recover. You get to hold it in a high plank. You can release the knees down or you can draw it to that upper, or excuse me, that downward facing dog. You decide, we go in three, two, one. We walk it in, we inch it out, hold it in that high plank before bringing it back in. Halfway through, inhale it out, exhale it in. Inhale it out, exhale it in. Three, two, one, 10 seconds off. You're holding a plank, releasing the knees or downward facing dog. You get to decide. 20 seconds on in three, two, one. We wanna make sure our hips are in line with the shoulders and the heels. What we don't want is this. That's yoga. That does not strengthen the core. That's a stretch. Last one. You can hold it right here or hold it in that plank. 10 seconds off. We go again in three, two, one. 20 seconds on. Halfway. One more full rep. You get to recover. Choose your recovery. We're here for 10 seconds. How you doing? Halfway there, we go again in three, two, one. 20 seconds on. Ten seconds. Can we get two more reps? Last one, we recover in three, two, one, 10 seconds. Recover, pick your poison. Woo. Here we go again, 20 seconds on, we go. In three, two, one. Hit point square. Ten seconds. Last one, you got it. Choose your recovery. Ten seconds to recover. Oh, we go again. We have two more rounds. We go 20 seconds on in three, two, one. Draw that deep belly button up and in. No hinging from the hips in the high plank. Come on, let's get one more rep. Choose your recovery in three, two, one. 10 seconds to recover. Then we have that one final time. Here we go, last 20 seconds. In three, two, one, come on. Make these perfect reps, we can do it. Ten seconds. One more rep. We recover in three, two, one. Great job. Grab a drink if you need to. Up next, we have a side shuffle with kick. So think of opposing forces. When we side shuffle to the right, we'll be kicking with the left leg. And when we side shuffle to the left, we'll be kicking with the right leg. So here's what it looks like. We travel the mat. Three, two, one. Side kick. Side kick. The way that I'm traveling, the opposite foot will kick. Now your option is to slow it down and reduce the range of motion on your kick. 
grab a drink of water if you need it. If not, we're going. Here we go, 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Take a big, deep inhale throughout the rib cage. Exhale, side shuffle with kick in three, two, one. Three, two, one, side kick. When I go to the right, I kick with my left foot. When I go to the left, I kick with my right. So think of opposing forces. Come on. Five seconds. Last one and recover. 10 seconds off, then we go again. Side shuffle with kick in three, two, one. 20 seconds on. Land soft. Hip points level. Belly button, draw it up and in. It's not just hanging out. Five more seconds. Last one. And recover, 10 seconds to recover. Now if you want, we can amp it up a little bit. When we kick, we can add that punch, but that's optional. We go in three, two, one. Three side shuffles, one kick. Maybe we're adding the punch this round. Exhale as we kick, inhale to shuffle, exhale to kick. Five seconds, last rep, recover. 10 seconds to recover, and then we go again. Walk it to one side of your mat, slow the breath down, inhale big. Exhale, we go in three, two, one. Side shuffle, kick and punch. Hit points level, they're not rocking. We can get lower in the side shuffle too. That'll be more challenging. Come on, one more rep and recover. 10 seconds to recover. Ooh, we're halfway through. Bring it to one side of the mat. 20 seconds on in three, two, one. Let's go. Exhale to drive. 10 seconds. Last one. And recover. 10 seconds to recover. And we do that again. Slow the breath down. Walk it to one side of your mat. We go again in three, two, one. Side shuffle with kick. Can we get lower? Come on, five more seconds. One more rep and recover. 10 seconds to recover. Ooh, six down, two to go. We go again in three, two, one. Side shuffle, kick, kick. Three, two, one, kick. You got it, come on. We can even lean into it maybe a little bit more. I know it's burning, keep it up. Keep this tempo. Last rep and recover. Big deep 360 inhale, exhale. Last round, we go in three, two, one. Get low. Ten seconds. Last rep and recover. Great job. Next up, we're coming back to that high plank position. Grab a drink if you need it. We'll be in a high plank. Deep belly button draws up and in. Shoulders over your wrist. We have mountain climbers, so knee to the chest. Either we're going at this pace or we're going at this pace. You can always bring it to an incline. That will be a little bit more doable. And when we recover, we can bring it here. We can bring it to the knees in a tabletop position, or if you want an extra challenge, you can hold it in that high plank. So everyone, meet me in that high plank. Head reaches forward, heels reach behind. Inhale throughout the ribcage. As we exhale, deep belly button draws up and in. Mountain climbers, knee to chest in three, two, one. 20 seconds on. We'll take the first round a little slower. We wanna keep the hips down. What I see all the time is this number. 
and maybe you're going fast, but this is more challenging than butts up in the air. Keep it up. Three, two, one, recover. We can hold this high plank or we can bring it to the knees. Whatever you want. It's four minutes. Knees up, high plank, mountain climbers again in three, two, one. At your own pace. Maybe we're picking it up this round. Maybe we're just holding on to the tempo. Also, don't do this number. Keep the shoulders aligned over the wrist. Up and in. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and recover. I'm dropping it to my knees this round. All right, 10 seconds have never gone by this quick. All right, high plank, get into position. We go in three, two, one. Knees to chest, drive it in. Keep that breath, don't hold it. 10 seconds, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one, and recover. Woo, okay, 10 seconds. It goes by quick. Here we go. Get back into that high plank. We go in three, two, one, 20 seconds on. Let's pick up the pace this round. We got it, as long as we can keep those hips level. Not up here. You're here. We're not down here. We're here, you got it, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and recover. Ooh, 10 seconds to recover. We're halfway through. Four down, four to go. Bring it back to that high plank. We go again in three, two, one, mountain climbers. So this is the tendency right here to let the shoulders come behind the wrist. Keep it forward. Look up, heels reach behind, head reaches forward, heels go back. Last five, four, three, two, one, and recover. 10 seconds, roll off the wrist if you need to. Take a breather if you need to. We go again, high plank. 20 seconds on in three, two, one, let's go. Shoulders over the wrist, you got it. Slow it down if you need to. I'm starting to feel the fatigue. I got sweat dripping off my face, but let's keep it up. Three, two, one, recover. Whew. 10 seconds to recover. We have two more rounds, two more rounds, that's it. Get back into position, high plank. Quality over quantity, three, two, one, let's go. Breathe through it, I know you're uncomfortable by now. It's supposed to feel uncomfortable. What doesn't challenge us, won't change us. Five, four, three, two, one, recover. Ooh, 10 seconds to recover. And then it's our final round. Here we go, high plank. Last round in three, two, one. Quality reps. Don't think about how many we can get in. Just make them all perfect. Big deep inhale. Exhale, belly button draws up and in. 10 seconds. Keep this tempo. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release those knees. Roll out the wrists. All right. Next up, we have a long jump to a back shuffle. So we'll need to start on the back of your mat while you take a little recovery. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blah, 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 show you what's coming next. So we're starting at the back of our mat. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump as far as we can, landing soft, and then we shuffle back. Now your option is going to be to take it to a sumo squat walk for four, and then shuffle it back. So either you're jumping or you're doing a sumo monster squat walk. It's up to you. Long jump to back shuffle. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight total rounds. Here we go, land soft. We go in three, two, one, long jump. Knees behind the second or third big toe. Last one, and recover. All right, you, if you wanna stay there, stay there. I'm gonna show you the option on this next round. We go in three, 
two, one. So this is the option. Sumo squat, walk forward for four, back shuffle. Sumo squat, walk for four, back shuffle. Last one. This one's tough and recover. Nice work. So I showed you both ways. The full Monty and the option. You get to choose land soft. Here we go. In three, two, one. 20 seconds on. Explode. Reset. Last one, and recover. Whew, 10 seconds, then we go again. Slow the inhale and exhale down. We go in three, two, one. Still landing soft. Don't slam into the pavement if you're doing that. Take the option. One more rep. And recover. Whew, okay. Slow the breath down. I'm getting fatigued. What about you? We're going to keep going. We go in three, two, one. Let's go. Power. Reset right here. Ah, last rep. And recover, great job. 10 seconds off. We go again, three more rounds. We go, 20 seconds in three, two, one. This is your power, reset. Power, reset. Halfway. Knees are not caving inward. You got it, last rep and recover. 10 seconds to recover. Two more rounds. We go in three, two, one. Halfway. Last rep and recover one. Final round, big inhale. Exhale, get into position. 20 seconds, we go. In three, two, one. Ten seconds. Last rep and recover. Whew. Nice work. All right. Keep the head above the heart. Next up, we have a step back burpee. So if this is too much for you, I recommend a chair or bench to come up to to make it an incline burpee, which is going to feel more doable. If we can, we're bending the knees planting the palms, stepping it back to that high plank, stepping the feet wide, and then lifting it up. We will start that way for the first four rounds, and then I'll give you the option to amp it up a notch by jumping, but that's an option. If you gotta take a drag, hit pause, take a drag, and then meet me right back here. Keep that good inhale at big and the rib cage, feeling up the entire rib cage, 360 breath. Inhale, draw that belly button up and in. Walk it to the top of your mat. The main focus is not how many reps you can get in. How many can you make perfect? Keep the hips in line with the shoulders, in line with the heels. We go in three, two, one. Take it slow to start. Walk it back. Walk it in. Raise it up. Now, if that's too much, bring it to an incline variation. So I'd have my bench right here, and that would just make it more doable, decreasing the angle. Last rep, and recover, 10 seconds. We're gonna do that again. At the halfway mark, we'll make that option, you and I. 
Can we amp it up? Not sure. Do we need to stay? We go in three, two, one. 20 seconds on. What's your plank doing? That's the main focus. Shoulders over the wrist. Deep belly button hugs up and in. We're only there for a split second. I know you can do it. Make it perfect. Last rep. And recover 10 seconds. And we do that again. We go in three, two, one, 20 seconds on. What I don't wanna see is this number, hip dip. No, 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 no. That could really do a number on the low back. If you need to, you can even drop the knees like this. We can drop the knees for a second and then step it in. The, the incline is going to be your best friend though. And recover, 10 seconds. Then we go again, step back burpees. We go in three, two, one, 20 seconds on. Inhale down, exhale up. One more rep and recover 10 seconds. If you want a little bit more, we can jump it back high plank jump it in or you can stay with the, the step back version we go in three two one 20 seconds on you're either doing this or you are staying right where you are you get to make the call how you feeling today you want to go for it land soft last rep and recover 10 seconds to recover then we do that again three more times Big inhale, we go in three, two, one. Burpees, step back or jump. It's up to you. High plank, neutral back. Belly button is drawing up and in, the core is engaged. If you cannot land soft, you are stepping back. Last rep. Recover, 10 seconds, two more rounds. Only burpees we have today. Promise, inhale, exhale, we go in three, two, one, 20 seconds on. Halfway. Five seconds. And recover, big inhale. This is gonna be your last round of burpees. Make them your best yet. We go, final 20 in three, two, one, let's go. After this, we take a longer recovery because you know I have to demo the exercise. 10 seconds. Two more reps. Last one. And recover. Woo. Slow the breath down. I need a little bit longer right here. We have two more exercises and then we are done. Your next one is a runner's power lunge. We have a few different options. Here's the full Monty. Left leg forward, right leg back. We bring it down into a lunge and we drive the knee up, finding space under this front leg as well. Now your option for this, get close to a wall. You're just taking it to a lunge, knee up, no power, but this is still gonna be challenging. You can brace yourself with a wall. It is up to you. If you need a drink of water, hit pause. If not, we're going. All right, so get set up for that runner's power lunge. We will alternate. We're gonna start with the left foot forward, right foot back. Drive the knee in towards the chest. See if we can find some air time under this left leg. 20 seconds on in three, two, one. Land soft. Reset every single time, maximum power. If you need a wall, find it. Here's the option. This is good too, but if we can, find some ear time under that bottom foot. Two more reps and recover 10 seconds. Now we're gonna switch sides. Right foot forward, left foot back, square off the hips. We go in three, two, one, 20 seconds on.
maximum power every single rep. Focus on a non-moving focal point. That'll help with the balance. Five seconds. Two more reps. Last one. And recover. Other side. Left foot forward. Right foot back. Here we go. In three, two, one. 20 seconds on. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Ooh, recover. Other side, right foot forward, left foot back. Here we go. In three, two, one. Twenty seconds off. Make sure we're not only going down but we're going back and down. Knee behind the second or third big toe. Five seconds. Last rep and recover. We're halfway through. Slow that breath down. Other leg, left foot forward, right foot back. We go in three, two, one, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Two more reps. Last one. Whew. Recover. Ten seconds. Other side. Right foot forward. Left foot back. We go in three, two, one. Power through. Every rep, explode. Five seconds. Two more reps. Last one. One more round each side. Then we're done. If you need to go to the option, take the option. Left foot forward, right foot back. We go in three, two, one. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, and one. One more round on the right side. Big inhale. Exhale, square off the hips. We go in three, two, one. Let's go. Last round. Match the other side. Keep this tempo. One side will probably feel more challenging than the other. You got this. Five seconds. Two more reps. Last one. Hand recover. Whew. Grab a drink of water if you need it. Last exercise will be in that high plank position. Watch me while you recover. High plank. The belly button draws up and in. Head reaches forward, heels reach behind. Very similar to a mountain climber, but this time, Opposite knee, opposite elbow. It's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Your option will be to bring it to a bench or chair. Hands will be on an incline variation. Make sure you hold on to the plank. That's going to make your angle a little bit more doable. For the first four rounds of this Atomic Mountain Climber, it's just gonna be a high plank, opposite knee, opposite elbow. Halfway through, we'll see if we can make it a little bit more challenging. Everyone, enter your high plank. Opposite knee, opposite elbow, at your own pace. We go in three, two, one. Final four minutes, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You're twisting from the core, a little twist. Draw your deep belly button up and in, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Recover now for your recovery. We can bring it down here, roll off the wrist, down dog, upper facing dog, whatever you want. Take it, here we go, high plank, we go in three, two, one. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. Keep the hips level. We're not up here, down here. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one, and recover. 
10 seconds to recover. You got this, we got this. I'm dripping sweat, what about you? Here we go, 20 seconds on in three, two, one. Here we go. Every rep is perfect. I know it is, keep it up. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, recover. 10 seconds, Whew. all right, back into that high plank. We go in three, two, one. Twist, you gotta keep this tempo up, halfway. Five, four, three, two, one, recover. If you wanna amp it up a notch, one atomic mountain climber, one push up, it is optional. Take the push up on or off the knees, it's up to you. Last two minutes, we go in three, two, one. Push up, it's gotta be perfect. If not, maybe we're on the knees. Keep the elbows behind the shoulders. Last one and recover. 10 seconds to recover and we go again. Big deep inhale. Get back into that high plank. We go in three, two, one. Atomic mountain climber, one push up. On or off the knees. Both are challenging. Or you can just stay with the atomic mountain climber. Five more seconds. And recover. 10 seconds, two more rounds. I wish I brought a towel, but I didn't. High plank. We go in three, two, one. I taught my mountain climber. One push up. On or off the knees. 10 seconds. And recover. 10 seconds. We have that. One more round, then we are done. This is your last 20 seconds. Everyone's adding the push up on or off the knees. We go in three, two, one. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. One push up. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. One push up. Come on. We are halfway through. 10 seconds. One more rep. You got it. And recover. Knees down, toes together. Send the hips back to the heels. Little child's pose. Awesome work. Hold on to that child's pose. Oh, awesome work, y'all. That was tough. You gave it your all. That's all that matters. So awesome, awesome work. Let's start to slow that breath down. Shift the upper body forward, coming back to that tabletop position. Walk the arms forward and let those hips just sink. We're up here into this modified upward facing dog. Or we're right here in this cobra. It is up to you. Whatever feels good. Oh, slow the breath down. Walk the hands back into that tabletop position. Right foot goes forward. Bring it up. Let's bring it to that runner's lunge with an overhead side reach. Left arm reaches up and over. Inhaling. Exhale, sink it. Nice work. Let's switch sides, right foot forward. Excuse me, right foot back, left foot forward. Right arm goes up and over. Square off the hips. And then we sink, slow the breath down. Easier said than done. Bring it back, just bring it back to a nice, easy seat. Wow. <laughs> Hopefully you had a towel too, I didn't mention that. But that is necessary with this workout. Inhale up. As we exhale, cactus the arms, draw the heart open, elbows reach behind the rib cage. Again, inhale up. Exhale, draw it forward. This time, one hand reaches up and over. Left hand reaches towards the right side of the ring. Draw the left shoulder blade back, siphon a little deeper. Let's switch it. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, siphon up and over. 
final stretch. Just give yourself a hug in with the right arm. Left ear goes towards the left shoulder. Right track gets that stretch. Hands switch sides. <sighs> awesome work today. Let me know how that went in the comments below. That was super tough, super challenging. If you had to hit pause a hundred times, cool, you got through it. And if you didn't get through it, don't worry. I, I give you this to challenge you. So we always wanna challenge ourselves and improve upon it. The next time you do this, it'll be easier. Third time, fifth time, 10th time you do it, every time you do it, it will become more doable. So keep that mindset embrace the challenge and keep up the great work. Have a wonderful rest of the day.